Hello everyone and welcome to the city. I am so glad to see you. We're going to have a great time today and it all starts with praising God. So let's get up on our feet and get moving. living in the city. There's something here for everybody, from coffee shops and shows to ice cream parlors and barber shops. I mean, there's no other place in the world where you can get a bowl of chili from a cart on the corner and then pay to get your autograph from your favorite movie character just three blocks up. You can even ride an elevator to the 104th floor of a skyscraper and see three different states. I mean, everybody in the city has somewhere to go and there's no shortage of transportation. 
But what's crazy is that most people here don't even own cars. They walk, ride a subway, take a taxi, or even the bus. I mean, that's what I do. But the bus I ride is no ordinary bus. <laughs> no way, the bus is full of fun. And here it comes now. Okay, so today's game is Hidden Emoji. Who's ready to play? Okay, on the screen, you'll see a picture of something that you might see here in the city. Somewhere in that picture, an emoji is hiding. When you think you see it, shout it out. Tell me what emoji you think you found. Let's take a look at the first picture. Okay, who thinks they found it? I can tell you that it is either a shoe or a shirt. Okay, everyone look at the picture and shout it out if you think the hidden emoji that we're trying to find is a shirt. Okay, now shout it if you think it's a shoe. Let's see who got it right. Drum roll, please. If you guessed a shoe, you got it right. Good job. But don't worry if you didn't get that one. We have another one coming right up. Okay, let's take a look at this next picture. Who wants to guess what emoji is hidden here? Okay, okay. I can tell you it's either a newspaper or a cup of coffee, which we love coffee in the city. Let's see what the answer is. Ah, it wasn't coffee, it was the newspaper. Good job spotting that one. Okay, last round. Let's take a look at this picture. Who wants to guess? I mean, I can tell you that it is either a police car or a skateboard. Everyone look really closely and shout it out if you think you know. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at the answer. It was skateboard. Good job, everyone. Some of those emojis were really hiding in the city. You know, city life really is the best. And not just because there are millions of things to do and see. What really makes this place special are all of the different people who live here. There are people who like to eat steak and others who like to eat sushi. People who work in tall buildings and those who work in the subway underground. Some people like listening to R&B while others enjoy K-pop. Really, when I think about it, my favorite thing is that everyday people that make up the city. And my favorite of those people is our city award-winning reporter, Joe Miller. She goes into the streets to find some really great people who bring the city to life. Oh, and it looks like her show is starting right now. Let's tune in. Joe Miller here coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Guys, I am so excited today because we are going to meet someone with some serious animal instincts. I can't wait to show you how he puts his everyday armor to use. He's amazing. Austin's his name and animals are his game. Let's go. Austin, hey, how are you? Hi, Joe. It's so good to see you. I'm glad that you could come out and visit today. Okay, okay, I can't even. Please introduce us to this little guy. Oh, this is Calvin. Ooh. He's one of my favorites here at the shelter, and he's about to go to his forever home. Well, what an exciting day for Calvin. Austin, can you tell us a little more about what you do here at the shelter? Oh, for sure I can. I love working at the shelter. It's my favorite place to be. Animals come to us, and our job is to get them ready to be adopted. Well, to see one of these furry friends get new homes has to be the most fun. It is. You know, some of our friends are feeling a little rough when they arrive. They may be hurt or have medical issues that we need to address. Oh, no. Well, I am so glad they have a place to come so that they can get better. It's the leash I could do. Well, here, check out this transformation. Sparky showed up feeling really bad. He not only needed a home, but also some medicine and time to get well. Oh, look at Sparky. He is just the cutest. The great news about Sparky is that it only took a few days, and he was back to his spunky self, ready to get adopted and have a woof over his head. Well, Calvin, Sparky, I can totally see why you love to work here. So Austin, I really want to know, what piece of God's armor helps you the most here at the shelter? Oh, without a doubt, it would have to be the helmet of salvation. Our goal at the shelter is to get every animal into a great home. And whenever one of these little guys gets adopted into a family, it just reminds me so much of God's love and how we are a part of His family. Oh man, Austin, that is so good. It is. See, nothing can separate us from God's love. 
and the Helmet of Salvation reminds me of that. And when you use the Helmet of Salvation, it helps defend against thoughts that can get up in there and make us doubt God's love. Exactly. You know, the best part about the Helmet of Salvation is that it's a reminder that once we're saved, we're always saved, and nothing can take that away from us. No matter what, we belong to Jesus. Nothing can separate us from God's love, and we are forever a part of His family. Well, hot dog! I love how you're able to use the Helmet of Salvation working here. What a great reminder. It sure is. Well, thanks for coming to visit, Joe. It was so fun, Austin, and very nice to meet you, Calvin. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure you join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. That was amazing. I love finding out more about the people who use their everyday armor to make the city super special. Let's talk about what we just heard from Joe and Austin. I'm gonna ask some questions and if you think you know the answer, just shout it out. My first question is about the piece of armor that Austin just told us about. Do you remember what it was called? That's right, Austin told us about the Helmet of Salvation. What does that piece of armor help us to do? Yes, we know that the Helmet of Salvation helps us remember how much God loves us and it protects us from doubting His love too. Okay, last question. God loved us so much that He sent His Son, Jesus, to save us from our sins. Once we believe that He did that for us and we start following Jesus, that's called salvation. Can anyone take our salvation from us? No way. Like Austin said, once you're saved, no one can take that away from you. No one can try to tell you lies that God doesn't love you. He promised that no one can take your salvation away from you. So when you're doubting, remember the helmet of salvation will be there to remind you that you are loved by God and nothing can change that. Each piece of God's armor is completely invisible, but it doesn't mean that it's not real. Even though we can't see God's armor, we put it on every single day. It'll make us strong and give us God's power. And I've got symbols for each piece of the armor that will help you to remember what it's for. The first piece of armor that God has given us is the belt of truth. Then there's the armor of godliness, the good news boots. We need the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit too. When we put on the full armor of God, we'll be able to stand strong against any evil that comes our way. There are going to be many times each day when we are tempted to forget what God did for us by sending His Son Jesus to die on the cross, or we may doubt how much God loves us. But when we put on the helmet of salvation, we'll remember how much we are loved. And that's what we're learning today. Everyone stand up so we can say this together. Say this after me. Put on the helmet of salvation. Come on, one more time. Put on the helmet of salvation. You got it. You know, we need each piece of God's armor every single day. And here, check out this Bible story about why we need to wear the helmet of salvation. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. God knew that sometimes we would doubt his love. And he also knew that the devil would try to make us think God doesn't love us. So God gave us a piece of armor to protect our minds and help us remember the truth about his love. God wants us to live every day knowing that he loves us. He sent Jesus to earth to show us that love. One day, Jesus was visiting a town in Israel called Cana. There was a royal official whose son was sick in the nearby town. The official heard that Jesus was in Cana. So he went to Jesus and begged him to heal his son because he was about to die. Jesus told the official he could go back home because the boy was going to live. As the official left Jesus, he could have doubted if Jesus had really saved his son from dying. But instead, he believed what Jesus said and that Jesus loved him and his boy. As the official was on his way home, some of his servants ran to meet him on the road with some very good news. His son was alive and doing well. The official found out that it all happened at the exact minute Jesus said his son would live. Just like the official believed that Jesus could save his son from death, we can believe that Jesus can save us too. We are saved when we believe that Jesus died on the cross, took the punishment for our sins, 
and came back to life. Jesus' love saves us from receiving the punishment we deserve for the wrong things we do, and it gives us the promise of heaven with Him one day. This promise of salvation is forever and can never be taken away. There's nothing in all of creation, nothing too great and nothing too evil, that can change how much God loves us. The Helmet of Salvation will help us remember this every day. We can put on the Helmet of Salvation. That story helps us understand that whenever we're having doubts about God's love for us, or we think that He couldn't do a miracle in our lives, we can put on the Helmet of Salvation. Believing that nothing can change God's love for us will help us to take a stand against anything that comes our way. Now, you might be wondering what it looks like for us to put on the armor of God in real life. Well, I have an example of someone who has. Here, take a look at this picture of Michael and his family. Michael is a kid, just like you. In this picture, you can see that he and his family are at the vet's office with their family dog. Michael is so nervous about what might happen to their dog because the vet is saying that it doesn't look good. Michael doesn't want his dog to die, so he asks Jesus to make him better. If his dog doesn't get better, Michael might be tempted to wonder if God really hears him or loves him at all. But Michael has been wearing the helmet of salvation. He can fight off those thoughts because he knows that no matter what happens, God still loves him. That's what it looks like to put on the helmet of salvation. When we put on his full armor, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. The helmet of salvation, which protects our minds, and if the devil catches us with an unprotected mind, he will be willing to fill it with sinful things. When we put on the helmet of salvation, we protect our minds from the enemy's attacks, and it will help us to remember how much God always loves us. All throughout the Bible, we see people using prayer and worship as a weapon to defend themselves against the enemy. That's because when we pray and worship God, we're declaring that God is more powerful than anything or anyone else who would try to harm us. And we're gonna do that right now. Dear God, thank you for giving us your full armor. Help us to remember to put on each and every piece so that we can stand firm against the devil's lies and tricks. We know that you are greater than anything we face. We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Remember, we've got God's power with us, and we're ready to face anything the evil one would ever throw our way. Boys and girls, what was your favorite part about today's lesson? I know for me, personally, seeing and hearing Max's story about how he remembered that even in his dark situation, that God still loves him. Remember, boys and girls, God's plans for us are good. And speaking of plans, I have a plan that includes a wrench, a football, and a trip to McDonald's. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys later.